by the moonlight You could hear the banjos ringing How the old folks would enjoy it They would sit all night and listen As we sang in the evening by the moonlight When the long, long day was over And the twilight had begun We would gather round the fire Okay, we're sitting here in the Dalles, Oregon with Sue Hope Ferguson and she's going to tell us about this painting, uh, what it is, what it means, and what everything was like to grow up around that painting. So, uh, Sue, tell us about that painting. This is a painting of the place I lived when I was growing up. And what year was that? My father built the house in 1937, and I was five years old. And how long did you live there? I lived there from the time I, I was... Five till uh, I was 18 years old. My father died at that time, so my mother had to get rid of that old house and moved into the new one that my father had started in a different place. So it wasn't this one? This is the very first house we lived in when we moved there. Mm hmm. And my when? Dad died in that house. When did your family move there? 1937. You, no. Okay. And how old? You were five when you moved into the house? Yes, I was five years old. Okay, and that's the old house. Yes. Where did you move from? We moved from there from Dover, Idaho. Mm. My dad worked in a lumber mill down there. That's mm -hmm. where he made the money, enough money to buy the property that he built the house out of, which he built from all the logs of the trees that was growing on the property. And you weren't born in Dover? No, I was born in Elgin, Illinois. And you came out what? at what age? I was a baby. I would guess I was probably five, six months old. Great. Now, going back to this house in the painting, how many people lived there? It was my mother, my father, my all my sisters. I, there was the oldest. No, not all my sisters. Two of them had already gotten married. Mm -hmm. So my oldest sister that was living there was Clara. Then there was Charlotte. Then there was Wilma. Then there was me. Then was Mom and Dad. And then later on, Earl was born. And then June was born. Okay, and your oldest brother wasn't there? My oldest brother didn't live there all the time. He went back and forth to different jobs, but he did come home on off and on on weekends. Mm -hmm. And what was a typical day for you in that house? Gee, my first day in the morning, we'd get up, Mom cooked breakfast, and we'd eat our breakfast, and then well, in the summertime, we just enjoyed ourselves. What, what was breakfast in that time? Breakfast in the day that I lived there was fried eggs and bacon, mm -hmm. and sometimes biscuits. Or sometimes pancakes, mm -hmm. and sometimes oatmeal. So tell me one of your most distinct memories of that house. Pretty hard to think of anything distinct. Every day was important. Okay, like like what? Well, like we had a lot of place to get out and roam around our, our land. My brother and I used to go down and fish in the creeks and the beaver dams. Mm-hmm. And that was the most enjoyable part of our teenage years. Okay, and when you moved from this house, you moved into the new house when your father died? Yes, my father had started a newer house. It wasn't completed. But Mom went ahead and put the second floor down. Mm -hmm. And then she also went in there and fixed everything that had to be fixed and put some walls up and everything. Mm -hmm. and then she moved in, and my brother Earl and June, I was working away from home at the time. But I did come home and weekends. Mm hmm That was about it. Okay, and what happened to the old house? The old house stayed there until it was sold to different people after that for three or four different families, and then finally it just rotted down. And it was all logs? It was all log. All log, built by your dad? My father built it. He was a carpenter. Mm hmm So what happened when you moved out of the new house? Where did you go? At that time, I got married. So, how old were you? I was 18. And who did you marry? I married William E. Ferguson from okay. West Virginia. And that would be that guy right there, right? That's right. Okay, what year was that? 1951, August 30th. And how did you meet this guy? 
I met him at a service station that he worked for my brother-in-law and sister, mm -hmm. and their th two kids. And what sister was that? Which one? That was Clara and her husband, Ed. Mm -hmm. And you just went in one day and met this guy? I was had a habit of going in and taking the little girls out to play because they were still young. That was, was your sister's kids? Me. Yes, okay. my two nieces. And what were their names? Donna Lee and Karen Ann. Mm -hmm. And you went in and this guy was pumping gas or fixing tires? What was he doing? Well, he was working in the station. I don't know. He looked at me and decided he wanted to take me out. So, so he, was, out he was flirting is what you're saying? Right. Okay. So how long did you know him before you got married? One month. And how long have you been married? 61 years. Okay, that's a long time. Yeah, we didn't go out and get divorced like most of the kids are today. So once you got married, did you stay at home? Did you move into town? Did you, what did you do? Where'd you go? After we got married, we lived in Sandpoint when he worked on the first dam he worked on. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we moved to various states across the United States. Okay. And have you have paintings of any of those other places? We, I have one painting of the place my husband was born and raised in West Virginia. That's right up there on the wall. Okay, let's take a look at that. Okay, and these paintings are done by you, is that correct? That's right. Okay. Uh, anything you'd like to add before we finish this one up? Well, another painting I made of a place that we stayed in, we rented a house in Illinois, Watsika, and that's over on the other wall. Okay. This one? That's the one. Okay, and what about the car? We didn't drive the car. That was just an extra. You just threw that in there? Yes. Cool. Now the house that we live in now is also painted in a painting over on the other wall. Okay, now that painting is of the house we now live in, in the Dallas, Oregon. It's a house that was 100 years old when we bought it, and my husband, Bill, had to rebuild the whole thing inside. Okay, and you're still there? And we're still there. And what is, what, what, when is it right now? What time? What day? Today is uh, September 29th, mm -hmm. 2012. And what year did you guys move in? Nin April of 1988. Okay. Well, thank you for this little bit of personal history, and on that, we're going to end this little video. Do you have any um, words for anyone who might be watching this, children, friends of children, relatives, grandchildren? The only thing I can say is I hope all of them are well and we're managed to live in their own homes as many years as we did. Okay, so we're going to say goodbye. goodbye. Do you want to say goodbye? Goodbye. All right. Thank you.